Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel. Um, I am in uh, an area called Spitzkopper in Namibia at the moment, camping, so my technology and resources are a little bit limited, but I still want to do the readings today. So, this is going to be a weekly reading from the 3rd to, through to the 7th of July. And uh, we're literally going to pull three cards, uh, theme for the week, unexpected, and advice from spirit. Okay. And remember that this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If you want a personal reading, just check out my website, loveitormore.com. You can contact me there, book directly, whatever you like. All right, but I don't have my sound bowl on me, and oh, forgive my bush hair. Um, so instead, we'll just do a nice breath in and um, exhale just to tune in so you can join me if you like. Okay, Aquarius. Let us see. Third to the seventh of July, please, for my highest good. You may hear some background noises. Um, it's beyond my control. Right. Ooh, your theme is the Empress. Oh, something is birthing into creation for you. Maybe that's abundance. Something is definitely being born out of unconditional love and following the heart. But it's your theme. It's the thing you're exploring this week. <laughs> Unexpected. Nine of Pentacles. Aquarius, man, you deserve this. You deserve this. This is the thing that you've been asking for for a long time, right? We'll get into it in a moment. Advice from Spirit Ten of Swords. Know what to say goodbye to. All right. So, we've got this divine feminine energy coming forward for you. This is your, your theme. You are spending the week exploring where do I feel abundant? What is abundance to me? What is happiness to me? Where do I want to be more creative? How do I want to kind of create more? How do I want to expand myself spiritually? How do I want to work from the unconditional love? How do I need to embrace more love? How do I need to receive more love? See the blessings around me. It's all of that beautiful energy. And um, feminine is all about receiving, receiving, receiving. She brings she brings it into a heart space. So it, can, it can grow and create and then she sets it out into the world. Okay. It's this beautiful birthing process. And you're looking at this in all avenues of your life. Okay? Give me my big car. The unexpected. Now, this is actually something because, because you're um, exploring this idea, this energy of the divine feminine, which all, is all about abundance, all, all about having more than enough, you know? You have the seed and you can grow a farm, like a garden, a whole vineyard if you want to. You can have wine out of it. You can, you know, it, it's so like, um, the thing with love is the more you give, the more there is to give. You never run out of it, okay? Um, and that's what the divine, um, that's what the Empress is all about. So it's like, when you start exploring it, when you start seeing it in every part of your life, um, it starts to play it back to you. And this is what's happening for you with the Nine of Pentacles. So unexpectedly, you didn't realize that, oh wow, I've actually got everything I need. It's like when you really look at what you're grateful for, you can kind of go, oh my goodness, I didn't realize I was so grateful. I mean, I didn't realize I had so much. And um, the much that we're talking about is basically resources, um, money, uh, property, um, um, finance, support. It's, but it, it, it's weird because even though it's a pentacles, I'm feeling that kind of the support in even like emotional support. It's like when you, all of a sudden you're in a position now where I, I'm actually self-sufficient. Like I've got everything that I need. And that's a beautiful response or reaction to the Empress energy. You're like, oh, I didn't actually quite see it this way. Now it feels to me, because it's unexpected, it's something that you're going to stumble upon, but there may also be something else that comes in this week for you, an extra little burst or injection of cash or whatever. And now you're starting to look forward and you kind of go, wow, I can have vision. I can actually be even more creative about my future um, uh, direction that I'm going in because she carries, she's got the falcon on her hand over there and the falcon is blind. 
okay um, not not blind it's got a mask on it's it's like tunnel vision it's got vision Oof. and now you can start to think about okay well how do I I feel like saying the words employ but employ all of my energies into this um, direction that I want to go and that's going to make me continue to create and um, grow it's a real birthing process it's like even when something even when a flower dies it sort of goes back into the soil and regenerates the soil and then like all the seeds start to grow again it's like whatever this thing is it's something that can can just kind of keep growing I really really love it and then we have three butterflies and we've got a ladybird a ladybird is good luck the butterflies there's three butterflies in this card which talk about transformation and I'm telling you this is very positive transformation so I absolutely love this the advice from spirit is just to let it go so we've got the ten of swords here okay the ten of swords basically tells me that there's a like an idea this is a belief system or an idea or a perspective that you had on a particular situation okay maybe it's your home environment Maybe it's your work environment, maybe it's your relationships, maybe it's your other half, a parental um, person that you look after. It'll be different for everybody, but it feels to me like there was a way of thinking that you thought about before. Um, that is, you had sort of put all your eggs in that basket and you kind of like, okay, well, this is how it is. You were like non-negotiable non on a, a, a thought pattern, on a belief system regarding it feels like it's to do with another person okay but maybe yeah maybe that other person's you but um it feels to me like whatever thought um considerations you were having about your future because i'm getting big time future from these other two cards it feels like coming to the realization that oh, i think i had it all wrong i think i had it all wrong okay and and the reason you have that like epiphany is because you're working with the Empress Energy. You're realizing that you have so much available to you, you know, if you just see it as if the glass is half full rather than the glass is half empty, you're starting to see it show up in your world, okay, in your reality. And with that comes like a, okay, I can't, I can no longer go back to that thought. I can no longer think it has to happen that way. You know, the trial and tested way, the conventional route, all of that. And what Spirit here is saying is, allow yourself, can you see with this card that um, the swords are pointing downwards, but none of the swords are actually touching the man. And instead there's light surrounding the swords. Now light talks about illumination, okay, getting clarity on something. And so what Spirit here is trying to say is, um, now that you're coming to that awareness, just let it go, let it go, let it go, okay, allow the illumination to come in and try not to put yourself into a state of um, regret or damn it, why didn't I know this sooner or anything like that, just let it go and see it pass away and see this as a, as a building block to the next stage that you're on. So, um, I hope that helped you, Aquarius. Uh, if you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're interested in personal reading, check my website, lovetomore.com, or just contact me on the comments. Um, it's a beautiful week, so I wish you all the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.